Most people, including athletes, have dysfunctional breathing without even realizing it, which wraps them of energy. And you will learn a lot of tools to increase your energy levels, which is key for staying motivated. You know very well that the moment you feel drained, both mentally and physically, it becomes very hard to stick to any new habits, whether it's exercise or healthy diet, which is completely understandable. This is why I focus so much on increasing energy through many avenues and systems in the body that we can actually influence. And this holistic approach is what sets lasting change apart from temporary fixes and diets. We live in a world where it's much easier to scroll through social media for hours than it is to set aside 30 minutes for a workout. And why? Because the first one is passive and habitual. It requires little effort and provides immediate, although very superficial gratification. The other one demands effort, commitment, and a major shift in perspective. Most people struggle nowadays with too much stress. And when you're dealing with a lot of stress and then you combine it with dieting in hopes that it will improve your fitness somehow, then you're only setting yourself up for failure. The other thing is that most people focus way too much on dieting and they don't even take the time to exercise or don't know how to exercise effectively. And it's not just about the time or lack of time or lack of resources. There is something deeper going on. It's all tied up in our daily habits, perceptions, lack of energy and the stress that shapes our routines. It's very hard to see lasting results in your fitness and health when you're only trying to change one aspect of it, such as diet and you're not even supporting it with any other important habits. So it's crucial that we take a holistic approach to fitness if we want to look and feel vibrant um, with health and have a lot of energy and motivation to move. I have uh, learned that stress, both physical and emotional, plays significant role in how we approach fitness. It's not just about feeling overwhelmed or busy all the time. It's about how stress biologically affects our bodies. Did you know that you can decrease stress and increase your energy levels by optimizing your lymphatics, your nervous system and your breathing? This is a very important part of our holistic approach to fitness because these systems influence everything from how our body recovers from exercise to how we metabolize food. Most fitness programs overlook this. They focus on the external, how to lift more, run faster, look better or eat less. In the Eight Pillars of Ultimate Fitness program, we focus on the internal mechanisms, how to optimize our lymphatic system for better nutrient absorption and detoxification, how to regulate our nervous system to enhance our recovery, energy levels and calmness. We talk about the most common myths about breathing and learn how to breathe more efficiently to actually deliver oxygen into our cells and improve our physical and cognitive performance. In the Eight Pillars of Ultimate Fitness program, we don't just talk about the most effective ways to exercise and nourish our body. We also address the essential and often overlooked elements that pave the way for lasting change. And this includes understanding and managing the stress that binds us and reshaping our perspectives to foster healthier habits. In this program, we will cover the most important topics, including training, mobility, pain relief. It will include daily follow along workouts, holistic approach to diet where we'll emphasize your own bio-individuality, gut health, vagus nerve, lymphatics, hormones, functional breathing, mindfulness practices for releasing anxiety, 
small habit building strategies and much much more. We'll take a truly holistic approach to fitness. We'll also have weekly live Q&A sessions together where you'll be able to ask me questions, share your progress, your struggles and learn from each other's experiences. We did this last year in the first version of this program and we had a blast. We also learned a lot from each other. It's important that you see each, you know, see other people going through the same thing and seeing it from their perspective because it helps you grow. So now let's talk about small, gradual habit building. Why small? Because monumental changes often start with tiny, consistent actions. It's not about overhauling your life overnight. It's about making small adjustments that you can sustain over the long term. It's about making simple choices that accumulate and build momentum. And as these habits solidify, your perspective begins to shift. You start to see fitness not as a chore or a challenge, but as a natural, enjoyable part of your day that you're actually proud of. This shift in perspective is crucial because it transforms effort into preference and struggle into your daily routine. In the Eight Pillars of Ultimate Fitness program, you will learn not only what to do, but how to think. You will learn that releasing tension both in the body and mind is not just a part of fitness. It is fitness. And through this program, you will discover how optimizing your body systems and rethinking your small daily habits can lead to profound changes in your health and performance. So, as we kick this off together, remember, it's not about getting immediate superficial results. It's about understanding, managing, and transforming your fitness into something you actually enjoy and sustain. And it all starts with recognizing the role of the most overlooked systems in your body certainly when it comes to fitness, the power of stress relief and the impact of shifting your perspective and building new habits. So thanks for joining me today. Now go ahead and sign up for the program at 8pillarsoffitness.com because it starts really soon on May 19th. And I'm excited to see you guys there and help each of you to achieve a sustainable, more vibrant lifestyle and long-lasting results. I'll see you guys there. Ciao.